you guys thank you so much for coming to this video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys all about the whoosh beauty fold out face palette it has everything you need in one palette uh, i show you guys and i am shocked how well it did so if you guys want to see how i got this look and all about the whoosh beauty fold out face palette let's get into the video <music> to say thank you to whoosh beauty for sending me this stuff i'm so excited to try it out it looks beautiful so yes thank you so much so this is the fold out face palette can you see packaging there and then so it has this flap there it kind of talks about the palette and it has a four in one secret brush so this kit right here the fold out face palette with the secret brush is $59 on their website. They also sent me the Essential Brush Set, which is these four double-ended brushes, and this retails for $79. Feels super soft, so we're gonna test all this out and see how I like it. Also, if you are wondering, I do have a coupon code for you guys. They sent me a 20% off coupon code, and the code is just CaliMylum20. So just keep that in mind. If you would like to order from their site, you can save some money. So their fold-out face palette, uh, their focus with this is less is more and easy accessible beauty. It's free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten, and the brushes are all synthetic. They don't do animal testing, so that's really amazing. So let's pull it out of the box here. So here's the brush. So this one, like you pull it apart, so it's got a, like a mini brush there, and then these two ends that kind of pop on. Here's the palette, it's just a nice shiny silver. You open it up, so you have your mirror here, a really nice big mirror. You have the two perfectors, you have four eyeshadows, the contour and highlight, you have a shimmer and two blushes, and then five blenders. I mean, this is perfect for you know you busy moms or just people that you just don't want to spend a lot of time you don't want to buy a lot of products you just want something simple and easy like it's all in here so i'm hoping i really like how this turns out i'm not usually a cream foundation kind of girl but we'll we'll see how it works so they don't actually have like a foundation it's just like the all over powder so i'm gonna go ahead and try their way of doing it i do have a lot of special friends going on. I don't know what happened. I think it was the tinted moisturizer I used because the I used it two days in a row and I had like 10 big huge things just pop up on my face. I know, I mean, you can see them everywhere. This one up here. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know if this will be good enough for me for coverage. Let's get into this and see how it works. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take the little secret brush, just the little flat one and go into the base shade right here since it says to start with the eyes so we're going to do that then i'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and i'll be right back then i'm going to go into the define shade just the darker brown with this more rounded brush So that's blending out really nice for how dark of a shade that is. Sometimes darker shades, you get in there and they just kind of won't blend and start just looking not good. So this one's blending so nice for being as dark of a shade as it is. So next I'm going to line my eyes so it says to take the black shade I'm going to take this it's pretty big so we'll see how this works it's like a flat angled brush but it's a lot bigger than I'm used to so we'll see how this works and actually that looks pretty nice for defining the eyes pretty black but it's not like really dark it definitely gives you the definition that you want 
and it was very easy with this brush so I really like that let me go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back okay the next step is to add the shine shade which is the shimmer one right here to the inner corner and the brow bone so I'm just taking that same flat brush that I did the first shade and I'm gonna use the other side And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that base shade right onto the inner half of my lid. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done until we wanna do some uh, shadow underneath. I'm just gonna use some gel in my brows first just to kinda add a little bit of volume. So while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go ahead and do the next step. It says to apply the Perfector creams to conceal blemishes and dark circles or apply liberally to cover acne and discoloration. So I definitely need that right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the bigger brush. This one says to Perfector. I'm gonna try just the lighter shade first and then I'll try mixing in the dark one if it's too light. Yeah, so that is too light, so I'm gonna Let's try just the darker one. I think I'll just mix them. It's giving me a lot of coverage. I'm just kind of going all over because I feel like I need the coverage. Um, and I like more medium to full coverage. So I'm just seeing where this goes. This is giving me a nice color. It's giving me some nice coverage. So now just taking the lighter one and going under my eye. I mean, look at the difference. I did not think this little cream was gonna do that. Let me go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and put on some lip liner too, but like, just like that, my zits are gone. Like I was not, I was not thinking this little Perfector cream was gonna do this much. So that's amazing. If you're someone who doesn't want this much coverage, just go ahead and cover what you need to and move on to the next step. But for me, I was I was thinking I was gonna pull out some foundation because I was like, this is not gonna get me the coverage I need, but it did. So the next step is contour. So this is interesting because I usually do like a setting powder before I go in with a powder contour, just so it blends nicer and you don't have any like parts sticking anywhere because right now, my face is like a little sticky, so we'll see how this goes on top of that. So I have this contour brush. I'm gonna use the bigger end right here. Oh, and I forgot to mention this face palette comes in six different shades. This is shade 2.5. So even on top of the cream, this contour shade is just blending out really nice. I don't know that I prefer it on top of just cream and not going in with a translucent or um, lighter powder first. I think it'll, I think it might give it a more blended look if we did the blending first. Um, but again, if you, if you aren't really using the perfecter all over your face, that shouldn't be a problem. I feel like it might just kind of be pulling away at the, the cream a little bit but I wanted to try the in order that they said to which is the perfecter is the last step so hopefully that will kind of just blend everything together and give a more seamless look so also because of that I'm putting on a little bit more of the bronzer than I normally would just because we are gonna go in with that final layer of powder so I don't want it to just you know blend over and not have any contour showing um let's use the side of this on my nose okay then i'm going to use the smaller side to use the other the lighter powder the more highlight this is just a matte highlighting shade 
So I'm gonna set the under eyes with that. So next is the blush. You have two different shades. I think I'm gonna go in with the more peachy one but I'll probably dip into the more pink one a little bit. And I'm gonna use the secret brush one for blush, the like bigger, fluffier. And again, I'm just going in a little bit more than normal because we're gonna go over with that other powder. So then I'm gonna go in with that bigger brush, the biggest end for the blenders. And I think I'm gonna mix both shades. It says to apply blender powder all over face for a soft airbrushed look. So that did definitely blend everything together really nicely. It also says for an extra glow dust shimmer on top of cheekbones. So you know I'm gonna highlight because I love highlighting. They have this little, it's like a more pinky toned shimmer highlight in there. I think I'm gonna go into the bigger brush and this one says blush, but I think I'm just gonna use the highlight on this. It's very natural looking, it just looks like it doesn't look like a streak. It doesn't look too metallic. It's just a nice glow. Okay, then I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off the black from that angled brush. I'm gonna try the contour shade first since it's a little lighter brown. So I'm just gonna grab an eyebrow pencil and just kind of fill in the tail end of my brows a little bit just because I don't even have hair there. So the powder doesn't really let me get that like kind of angled point that I want. Okay, so let's do a little bit more on the eyes. I'm just gonna go in with that brown shade and kind of just fix the outer corner. Then I'm also gonna take that shade under the eye. Then I'm gonna take the bigger, this is the eye, bigger eye brush and just this bigger side. I'm gonna get a little bit of that contour shade on there and just kind of blend out the darker brown under my eye. Uh, next, I'm gonna use some setting spray. You know I cannot live without it. Okay, and the final two things I'm gonna do is a tinted brow gel, which you do not have to do this. I just really like making my brows look as full and dark as they can without just drawing them in with like a really dark pencil. Then some mascara. So this is the final result from the Full Out Face Palette. I think it turned out so beautiful and just so blended and like it do really does look airbrushed. All right, so I am really impressed with this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was fully planning on cheating and grabbing, I thought I would grab some foundation, a lighter concealer for under my eyes, maybe my setting powder. I just, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use all this and get a full face full coverage what I normally do. I am just shocked that I got a look this full coverage and full glam like I'm used to out of just this palette. A lot of times palettes like this are just kind of light coverage. They just kind of give you like a little bit of some something, something. They're just like a lot more sheer is what I'm thinking. Like a lot, just a very, very light wash of color. And this was so surprising. I am really impressed. Like that's all I can say. I'm so impressed by this. So thank you again, Woosh Beauty, for sending me these beautiful products. They're not, they not only look beautiful, but they perform beautifully. And like my skin just looks gorgeous. It really is a full face palette. To get a full look, you just need the palette and then like mascara and lipstick. I think this is such a great idea. I love that it's so compact too. It's not that big. Everything about it is amazing. And I haven't really seen anything quite like this. I love the design where it kind of folds out so you could set this somewhere 
and just prop this open. I'm really excited to see what else they have. So that's all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I do three videos a week and ring the little notification bell to be notified when I upload and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.